Okay, so one of the coolest things about the Garmin 355 is that along with being able to pull up an approach really easy, it allows you to pull up these visual approaches. And uh, I'm gonna show you one right here. So we're coming into LaBelle. We're about 7.5 away from it. And uh, we'll slowly kind of make our way down to uh, traffic pattern altitude, which is 1,020 uh, feet. Also, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull up the procedure, approach, and then over here, hit approach. And then you have what's called visual 1-4. I don't know if you can see that. But we're just going to do visual 1-4, and you select visual 1-4, and then you activate the approach. It gives you a, a warning sign, or kind of a message here, guidance is advisory, you may not provide adequate uh, distance from terrain or obstacles. It'll give you a three degree glide path, and the threshold crossing height is 43, is 40 feet. Activate it, and then it gives you this waypoint that is three miles from the runway. And activate it, activate it, activate it, and there it is. And then you just do what it tells you to do. LaBelle traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is five miles to the west inbound for one four in LaBelle traffic. So now we're four and a half miles from that waypoint and we'll set ourselves up on a nice mosey and descent over here and kind of keeping an eye out for the airport, seeing if we can find it. And my glide slope and localizer just became active here. And right to 143. So let's turn that to 143. And there it is. And we kick in a notch of flaps here. The bell traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is on a two mile final for runway 14. The best. All right, mixture on Rich. Hey, well, traffic, you're going to make final on this. Turning a final fuel tanks on both. And look at that, the localizer and glide slope just became active here, or they came active a while ago, but. And now we just fly it down. So this is a really cool little visual approach this thing gives you. Kicking another notch of flaps in. Let's get some trim in here, right on glide slope. And we got a little bit of a crosswind here. So let's get our approach speeds. It should be 80, 90. And we're a little bit too fast. There we go, coming in at 90 here. And we do have plenty of runway. LaBelle traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is on a one mile final for runway 14, LaBelle. There we go, and get that approach speed down. 85 is good. And we're not gonna put any more flaps down because we got a little bit of a cross from the 300 feet, glide slope and localizer are good. Glide slope is good. Just a little touch more of flaps, just getting to know my airplane, I guess. And we're right on that glide slope. Slowing down nicely. Runway's made, chop the power. And we'll bleed off from airspeed here. So this is just a really nice, really nice feature of the Garmin 355. It'll give you that visual descent slope and it's a, gives you a localizer and glide slope and it's just, it's an awesome little feature. LaBelle traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is clear of runway 14, LaBelle. 